Hello there. Today is certainly one of contrast across the UK. Despite some early mist and fog patches, much of England, Wales and Northern Ireland have seen a fine start to Saturday. Some hazy sunshine around in places, but for Scotland there has been persistent rainfall overnight and that is continuing throughout all of Saturday as well. Heavy outbursts and a result there are yellow and amber rain warnings in force. Particularly within the amber zone, widespread disruption is expected. Issues with transport links and flooded properties are possible and there is a danger to life due to the flood waters around with a month's worth of rain potentially falling in some locations. Do continue to take care if you are here and stay up to date with the forecast and any travel advice issued. This rainfall is associated with a weather front that has stalled its way across Scotland and is essentially just going to stick there throughout much of the day continuing to provide that rain consistently. This is a contrast to the rest of the UK where high pressure is actually in charge centered across continental Europe. And in fact, it is dragging up heat from parts of North Africa, parts of Iberia and Spain and transporting it closer towards the UK, allowing for a bit more of a summery feel in places with temperatures rising notably above average for the time of year. This high pressure will keep things relatively dry for much of Northern Ireland, Wales and England. Again, a good number of sunny spells around at times, just a touch hazier for Northern England, parts of Northern Ireland where there is a bit more of a cloud around at times, but temperatures climbing up towards 24 degrees Celsius. Usually across these three countries, we'd normally expect temperatures at this time of the year to be around 14 to 16 degrees Celsius. So we are really certainly well above where we should be for the time of year. A noticeable difference feel underneath the clouds and rain across Scotland, but also with the northerly winds that are being dragged down in across the Northern Isles and across the far north here as well. Some places struggling to see above 10 degrees Celsius and climb into that double digit mark. As we head throughout the rest of the evening, there will continue to be some heavy pulses of rain ongoing across Scotland. And later on in the night, we might start to see further outbreaks arrive from the Atlantic, pushing their way across the Outer Hebrides and the Western Isles. So do again continue to take care throughout the night. For most of Northern Ireland, England, Wales, again, largely dry, but cloud pushing into eastern areas of England will turn quite murky here. And we'll see some fog patches developing across the far south of England and Wales as well. For most of us, it'll be a relatively mild night, temperatures holding up around 12 to 14 degrees Celsius. We might drop into single figures in a few sheltered valleys and more widely across the far northeast of Scotland as well, where that colder air mass clings on. It is the north of Scotland where, again, we will continue to see rain pushing through over the course of Sunday. Initially across the Western Isles, then spreading into the Highlands, Murray, Aberdeenshire, over towards the Northern Isles as we head throughout the latter part of the day. The cloud across eastern England will be a bit stubborn to clear throughout Sunday morning, but eventually into the afternoon we will start to see some brighter spells developing. The best of the sunshine probably across central parts of Wales, England and southern parts as well, where again temperatures will climb towards 23, 24, perhaps an isolated 25 degrees Celsius in there as well. So really quite warm for the time of year. Just a little bit of cloud perhaps lingering around some Irish Sea coastal areas throughout the day and that could continue throughout the overnight period as well as we end off Sunday and head into the start of the new working week. The rain though in the far north will eventually clear its way off as we do head off into Monday and things easing off a touch and turning drier here. Do stay up to date with the forecast and we'll have all the latest across our social media channels. And we'll be back with the latest on the website, on the app and on YouTube very soon. Bye-bye.